What's up guys, Eli here, back for another new stuff video. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, three different albums by three different current heavy metal bands that uh, if you haven't heard, I would totally recommend. Nothing obscure or anything like that, because truth be told, I'm kind of picky. Uh, you know, traditional heavy metal is very much, you know, arguably my favorite genre of music ever. Um, a lot of the, you know, and there's a, there's a hundreds, thousands of obscure, you know, bands playing, you know, the 80s style right now. And I don't know. I, I mean, I, I don't claim to have heard all of them, but a lot of them to me are kind of missing the mark. So these three bands here are, uh, for me, you know, some of the cream of the crop. I'm not claiming that they're, they're the best, but they're good. And uh, I like these, these, uh, these albums quite a bit. Starting with Final Spell by Visigoth. Uh, this is their EP from 2012. They formed in 2010 in Utah. Uh, this is their second release right after they did a demo. Uh, came out on Swords and Chains Records, limited to a thousand copies. I found this uh, found this at a record store, a local record store, still sealed, oddly enough, which is pretty cool, for, you know, considering it's over 10 years old. I'm going to open it. Of course I'm going to open it. I want to listen to it. But... Uh, Visigoth, obviously, you know, they're fairly popular. I'm sure you've heard of them. But if you haven't, man, they play kind of a... Kind of somewhere in between, you know, epic heavy metal, uh, you know, uh, traditional heavy metal, U.S. power metal, like 80s-style U.S. power metal. Kind of put all that in a blender, and that's what you get with Visigoth. Um, you know, they, they, they don't go all out in one direction. They just are what they are, and they're kind of a combination of things. So... I mean, if you like bands like, honestly, if you like Manila Road, if you like Omen, I think Visigoth, definitely up your alley. Uh, again, you've probably heard of them, but if you haven't, uh, maybe you're an older, you know, heavy metal fan. Maybe you've been out of the game for a while. I think checking out Visigoth would be good for you to kind of jump back into things. Uh, they're one of my favorites, so. Then we've got Mind Freeze by Haunt. This is their uh, third full-length album. Originally came out in 2020. This is a 2021 re-release. Uh, so this band formed in 2017 here in the U.S. I can't remember what state. Uh, by a guy named Trevor William Church. Uh, he started off just... This was a solo band. He he, he did everything by himself. Uh, he went on to add members, of course. Now it's a, you know, it's a full band. Um, this band is really cool. And I'll be honest, it took... A little bit of selling for me. Uh, I was on board with this band, uh, you know, from his first EP, but I didn't quite get the hype when that EP, because it got a, it got quite a bit of attention and it got attention fast. And I, I remember thinking, yeah, this is pretty good, I, but it's not great, and I don't I don't see you know why everyone's kind of swooning over this EP. Uh, but I, you know, I, I kind of made a mental note to let's pay attention to this band, though clearly this guy's got potential. And I think he's reached that potential, and he's furthering that. Um, if you like stuff like, honestly, when I listen to Haunt, every time, uh, what instantly comes to mind is Angel Witch. Good, early Angel Witch, like that debut album. If you like Angel Witch, man, I think you would just love the shit out of Haunt. Not as good as Angel Witch, don't get me wrong. I'm not putting them on the same pedestal. I can't do that. Uh, that first Angel Witch album is just top-tier you know, new wave of British heavy metal stuff. Uh, for me, it's just the best of the best. So, uh, you know, on par with, you know, a lot of stuff Iron Maiden's done and, and all that. So, but still, if you like Angel Witch, Haunt, I think is right up your alley. They were, that, that's, it totally worked for me. Um, as an Angel Witch fan, I just slid right into it. And I, I, I need to get the rest of their stuff. Uh, to be honest, I've only heard the debut EP uh, I may have heard the first full length, I've heard this, and I haven't heard a bunch of their other stuff. So, anyways, I'll get to it eventually. <laughs> then we've got Wither on the Vine from Darkest Era. This is the third album from 2022. Uh, first album in eight years, and the first for Candlelight Records. Uh, they formed in 2007 in Ireland. Uh, this is a very unique heavy metal band. Uh, they kind of play, I think uh, the metal archives, they're listed as like Celtic heavy metal or folk heavy metal, something like that. Either way, it works. Uh, this is, at their core, they are a traditional heavy metal band, but they definitely have their Irish roots 
There is some like some Celtic flavors in there that make it very unique. You know, if you like stuff like uh, Primordial, even even though they're more of a black metal band, obviously they're later. If you like later Primordial, where they're more of a you know more of a heavy metal band than black metal, uh, I think you can hear a little bit of that on here, or at least uh, you hear some parallels. If you like Male Morda from uh, Ireland, they were kind of a kind of an epic doom band. I think you can slide right into Darkest Era if you like Waylander. Even though they had some some you know kind of a black metal beginning, you know they uh, a lot of these Irish bands they start off a little bit more extreme and kind of become this more of a you know traditional heavy metal band. Very unique, but if you like any of those three bands that I named, I, you know, this is this should be an easy win for you. Um, unique in a good way. You got great vocals. Uh, this guy, you know, singer. This guy's got kind of a kind of a lower voice. He doesn't hit super high notes, but uh, he, he, you know, he he does have some range, and he can dude can sing. Uh, the musicianship here, stellar guitar solos, everything. The songwriting, though, where this band wins for me is in the songwriting department. This band can write a song. They can write a unique song, and it's 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 a step or two above what most traditional heavy metal bands nowadays are doing, in my opinion. Um, I've known of this band, but it took a long time for me to actually want to check them out. They had an album out on Metal Blade Records some years back, and I, I don't know. For some reason, I I, I just assumed they were something else. I, I just didn't give them the chance that they deserve. Uh, so now I'm going to you know, go backwards and check out their first two albums. But this this right here, if, if those albums are better than this, I'm going to be shocked, because this is fantastic. <laughs> Anyways, guys, what do you think? Have you heard any of those bands? Surely you've heard at least one or two of them. Uh, but have you, you know, have you done a proper dive into their tunes? Have you like, uh, you know, have you done more than just scratch the surface? Because for me, well, Visigoth, I think I've heard all Visigoth stuff, but Haunt, I, I need to catch up in Darkest Era. I need to catch up, but I'm super interested. Just based off the strength of those albums right there, uh, I'm, yeah, I'll, I, I'm definitely going to be buying more, so... Those are some of the, you know, traditional heavy metal bands going currently that I like. Uh, let me know which ones you like. Like I said, there's hundreds or thousands out there right now. And I, a lot of them to me are just, they, they just kind of sound retro for retro sake. And uh, some don't get me wrong, there's some charm to that sometimes when it's done right. But sometimes it's just not done right. And it just seems cheesy to me. And it just seems dishonest, to be honest, in a, in a, in a lot of ways. So... If there are some bands again that, that you like in that in the vein of those, definitely let me know. I won't. Uh, I'm not gonna ridicule you if I don't like them or anything. But I'll I'd be happy to check them out. So, always always looking to add more traditional, you know, modern traditional heavy metal to my to my listening rotation. I just it's not often that I find one that I actually truly like and you know actually want to spend the money on and spend my time on. So, anyways, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, everything's going pretty decent on my, my end and uh, getting ready for Halloween, gearing up. Uh, working on a Friday the Thirteenth marina uh, marinade marathon right now, and uh, so that's been fun. But uh, anyways, thanks for stopping by. As always, we'll talk soon. Fucking cheers. Mm -hmm.